Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to continue on with our little uh, web page using includes. And I want to show you another PHP concept here that uh, we're going to need for this next section. And this is, uh, we're going to work with something called an array. And we're going to deal with arrays. Now what is an array? An array, you can think of it this, it's like a complex variable. It's going to take a variable, but in instead of allowing us to only put one item in that container, it's going to allow us to put multiple items inside that container. Let me show you how this works. What we're going to do is, remember, I can kind of put break in and put PHP code anywhere. So I'm going to break in right after this UL here, the unordered list, and let's just say PHP. And you can see that, remember, if I close that out too, uh, so you have less than sign, question mark, PHP, and at the bottom, question mark, greater than sign. So inside here, I can write some PHP code. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do an array. Now, an array basically has a name, and it also has what's called a key index. And let me show you how this works. If I, um, let's build an array called sections. And these are the, all the possible sections we have to this website. Now each sections, or each, excuse me, each section has, um, or each one of these points in the array has a key value. So what we're gonna do is use the square brackets and I'm gonna put the number zero. Arrays always start with zero. You can start them with one, but let's start this one with zero here. And I'm gonna set this to a value. And what I'm gonna say is the value is home. I'm gonna create a string called home. Okay, and as you probably guessed it, we need four of these and one for each page of our website. Let's do another one. Let's say section, sections, sorry. Uh, we're using the plural here. Sections one equals products. Okay, and we're gonna do another one. Let's say sections three, excuse me, two equals uh, about. Okay, so what I'm doing here is, you can see I'm building an array. So let's finally say sections three equals uh, contact. Now remember we had four sections, why are we stopping at three? Well, we started with zero. And that's uh, it's fairly important here because the array, okay, so what you can see here is the array is called sections, okay? And I can assign multiple points of contact to that sections array. And how do I know which one I did? Well, we're gonna use index points. So by default, it starts at zero, so we're going to use zero, one, two, and three. There's another fast way we can do this too. Oops, I'm sorry, I forgot a semicolon here. Okay, the other way I could do this is we could say sections equals, and we can use a function to do this. What we'll do is say array, and then in parentheses, we'll start giving it content, and you separate the content by a, a comma. So let me show you how this works. Let's, let's type it out, and then I'll show it to you. So let's say array home, comma products. Next, comma, about, comma, contacts. Contact is what's supposed to be, sorry, not contacts. Okay, so this is two ways of doing the same thing. I can spell them out by, by key individually, or what I can do is, is down here, you can see this is a much easier way to cram all these in here real on the fly, is just say, okay, sections equals, and then use the array function. So what it's gonna do is it's going to make sections an array, and it's gonna just start putting them in in order, and it always starts with zero, okay? So what I'm doing is saying, okay, create an array called sections, and then index, the first index is gonna be zero, home, second one's gonna be products about contact, and it will assign those starting with zero to zero, one, two, three. So these are two ways of doing the same thing. I need to pick one or the other. I'm gonna pick this second one because this is a lot, it's just easier to look at, it's less code. But I wanted to build this one out first so I could show you that you could change individual keys or key indexes for this. Um, and also it's easier to see when I, when I stack them like this, you know, how an array is built so I can see that it includes these four items. Let's delete that right now. And you can see here's the sections equals array. Now what I wanna do is we need to run some code for each one of these sections. Um, and I wanna show you a handy uh, little built-in loop that you can use that's built into PHP and all, many other coding languages. And what we're going to say um, is use the for loop here, which is F-O-R, F-O-R. And well, actually, this, excuse me, this is the for each loop, so it's gonna be for each, okay? And what this does, remember we had the if statement a while back, and this is actually a loop. And what it's gonna do is say for each. And I'm gonna use parentheses and curly braces, like we did with the if clause, or if statement. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say for each item in our array, for instance, we're gonna do something, okay? So what we know is, let's go down here and let's look at the code for a minute. We have these list items with links inside of them, okay? And we know there's one for each point in our array, okay? So for home, products, about, and contact, those are all in the array. And so for each, what we're gonna do is, this is how you do it. First you list the array, so sections. And then what we're gonna do is use the word as. 
then we're going to use a second variable. Now the second variable is for the loop. And so what we're saying is for each row in, or for each point or for each uh, little piece of information in the sections array, let's define it as a second variable. So let's say for each sections as section, singular, section. You could do anything. You could say for each sections as row or each sections as, you know, in fact, let's use that. Let's just say row. Let's say create a variable called row and we're going to do something, okay? And so what we're doing here is we're saying for each, each point in the sections array, we're going to say as row, so we're create a new variable. So if I refer to, if I just say echo, uh, echo row, what it's going to do is you're going to see it echo home, products, about, and contact. What it's going to do is it's going to do this for each one. It's going to set that row to be the uh, value of the of that key index in the array. Okay, so if I just say for each sections is row, echo the row. Remember the row is from the sections and it's going to be just whatever point in the array it's on at that time. And what it does is when it's done with the array, it stops. So if I add more to this array, if I have 20 pages, it'll still, I don't have to change anything in the for each loop because it just says basically, hey, to PHP, um, you know, for each point in that array. And so it doesn't matter how many there are and you can change it. So that's kind of handy to have. You don't have to remember how many there are. Okay, so what we're not, we're not gonna do is just echo the row, but what we're gonna do is we want to build this navigation with each one of these and I'm going to do that in the next podcast so let's uh, let's go on there now